This is a tutorial to show you how to install Visual Studio Code and Processing for the Mac. So you head to processing.org, downloads, and you download Processing for Mac OS by clicking here. I already have downloaded uh, Processing, so I'm going to stop it, the process over here. Then you go to Visual Studio Code and download for the Mac. Again, after a few seconds, it will start up by itself. I have already downloaded both software. So I'm stopping downloading here, here. So you unzip them. And once unzip them, you can uh, take them and drag them into the application folder. So you take them and then drag them to the application folder. In my case, it asks to replace the existing processing and Visual Studio code. So I'm going to replace them because I already have installed them. In your case, maybe you don't have them already on your computer. Okay, so once you're done with that one, we want to start processing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to open processing. For the first time, it takes a little bit of time. It will take uh, about 30 seconds or so. So just be patient. We start up. Once it's ready, you should be able to see the, the, the main editor. Now, using processing, you could directly just go and write your code. Uh, to test everything is fine, you type, we'll click on this play button. And if a window pop up like this one, everything has been installed correctly. Now, as I was saying, you could actually just go ahead and type over here your code and do whatever you want to do here. Uh, but we are not going to do so. Instead, we're going to use uh, Visual Studio Code. Now, before leaving processing, there is one last setting we want to actually do, which is two more settings, actually. One is uh, go to Tool, Install Processing Java. You click on this, and what this allows you to do is to see processing from other uh, programs as well. Uh, basically, your system is going to be able to find the location of processing Java. So once you do that, it asks you for your password, Enter your password, the system password, that has been installed. Just to verify everything is fine, you can open up the terminal. And if I type processing minus dash Java, you're going to see these things here happening. If you did not install processing correctly, you would not see uh, these, uh, these commands. You would actually see something like command not found, something like uh, command not found. Okay. All right, so everything has been installed. There is one last thing we want to do before uh, leaving processing, which is that of installing a library. We're going to install the library because I'm going to give you a demo using the homework zero application. So I go over here, sketch, import library, add library. And over here, you can add any library you want to. The library we use in homework zero is called Interfascia. And you can see here it's green because I already have installed it on my computer. I can remove it, I'm not going to do so. I could update, update it if there was an update available. And in your case, you're just going to click on install and it's going to install the library. All right. Once we're done with all of this, we want to go to Visual Studio Code, which is not Visual Studio, it's Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. Now, for the first time on the Mac, it should not allow to open it. It would say that actually the application has been blocked because that was not installed through the um, App Store, Apple App Store. So in order to open this anyway, you just go on System Preference, uh, Security and Privacy. Then there is a General tab. Then over here, you will find Visual Studio Code was blocked. You just want to open it anyway. Yes, I want to open it. That's it. That's just for the first time. From now on, I can just click Visual Studio Code. It will open up this way. OK. So we also want to set up Visual Studio Code now to work correctly. The first thing we want to do is to add the processing extension. If you click on this tab here, you're going to find, again, all the possible extension that you can install. In my case, I want to install processing. Um, because I already installed that one, you will find that I can disable it and uninstall it. 
but if you didn't have installed before, you would have installed. Click on install. Now the processing language pack has been installed in Visual Studio Code for you. Then we want to open some example code. So what I did is I have uh, downloaded the homework 0.zip. So I'm going to open up this. As you can see, it's a folder, homework 0. I can simply take it and drag it on Visual Studio Code. That will open up a window for me. I'm going to close the other one. Inside of this window, inside of this, oh, inside of this window, there is a file, homework0.pd. You can see it's already perfectly color coded because the system realized it's actually processing. So everything is working fine with the extension. Now let's run this code. Let's compile and run this code. How we can do that? So you want to go in view, command palette, and you see this window is appearing suddenly. Okay. You can achieve the same goal by typing command shift P. And with this, now we can set up for processing. Now there are one step you have to do the first time you run processing for the sketch, which is create a task file. Okay, so I'm gonna create a task file for homework zero. What is gonna happen is that it creates for me this hidden folder, .vs code, and inside of this uh, folder, there is a JSON file. And the JSON file will contain all the parameters needed to run the processing sketch. I don't have to do absolutely anything with this one. I just have to create it one time. The first time I want to start uh, my project with uh, processing. That's it. So I'm done with that. Now I just want to run my application. I want to compile it and run it. To do so, Command Shift P, and I do Run Processing Project. Just type Run Processing Project. And that is with homework zero. And that will compile it for you and then run the application for you. Okay. So what happened actually is create a new folder called out. And inside of this one, you will find that there is the compile code in bytecode over here, and then your original uh, code, uh, but the Java version. Right? So this one has been created for you by the application. As you can see, there is extra stuff that has been added in. So again, you don't have to play with this. You can stay just in your PDE file, but that's been created for you. Now, if I want to run it again, for example, what I could type just as a shortcut is Command Shift B, and by doing so, it will just start. There we go. Now, let's say you want to start a sketch with processing from scratch. You have nothing here. You don't have a template. So my recommendation actually is to start from um, processing itself. Since you're still going to have this installed, what you can do is create a sketch over here. I can simply save it. And I'm going to call it test. And I'm going to save it on the desktop. All right? So it created for me. Then I take this and I drag it in Visual Studio Code. And I will launch a new window. And again, as before, there's my test.pd file. Let's write some code over here. Void setup. And then I'm going to have size, whatever, 800 by 600. And then I'm going to do void draw. And you can see, Visual Studio Code is trying to autocomplete everything for me. Like as soon as I type background, it come up with all the possibilities and a suggestion for me to include like, some values. So I'm gonna do this in red, and that's it. let's leave it so simple. Again, I have to create a task file first. So task file for test. And once I'm done with this, I can Command Shift B, and this will start the application for me. There we go. If you don't want to start from processing as I did, what you have to do, you have to make sure that you create a file called uh, the name you want to, .pd, and that file is included in a folder that has exactly the same name of that file. So if I come here, for example, and I change the name of the file, but it's inside of test. So in the folder test, there is a file that is not called test.pd, so there is a mismatch. So I'm going to go here, 
and open up that file. I'm over here. I'm trying to run this file. Even if I try to compile it, it will refuse to open it up. It will not work. It has to be exactly the same name. Okay, so if you go here, you have the same name. This is test.pd. This will work. All right, so I hope it's useful, and I'll see you in class.